Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about North Korea state media, the Korean Central News Agency or KCNA, unveils images of the new strategic cruise missile, the Hwasal-2 being launched from their newest and most modern Corvette. Also the first of its kind, the Amnok class missile Corvette. The event was witnessed by Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un himself. The newest Amnok warship with body number 661 looks very new. The ship would be probably stationed to their East Sea Naval Fleet in Muncheon, north of Wonsan. The test which was reported through the North Korean state media in English saying, the missile launch were intended to verify the combat function of the ship and the feature of its missile system, while improving the sailor's capability to carry out an attack mission in actual war. They claim that the ship rapidly hits target without even an error. The fact it was reported in English is clearly sending a message to the United States. The new Hwasal-2 anti-ship cruise missile is an improved derivative of the Hwasal-1. The new missile is also capable of hitting ground target. This missile has an estimated range of 2,000 km. The missile is also capable of carrying nuclear payload. This new capability gave North Korea more nuclear delivery flat from to hit their enemy. Back then, North Korea only has the long-range ballistic missile, short-range ballistic, and the land-based cruise missile to carry out nuclear attack to their enemies. But in 2016 and 2021 test, North Korea showed a new nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile, the SLBM version of the KN-11 and KN-23. Now, North Korea added another dimension to their missile launching capabilities by having a newer anti-ship cruise missile that's also capable of attacking ground target and carry nuclear payload. North Korea seems also to be modernizing their obsolete and relatively small ships. So, what do we know so far about the new Amok missile Corvette? Today, let's take a look at the ship and try to assess its capabilities based on available images. On first look, the ship has a stealthy design, and it's probably done to reduce its radar cross-section. The ship has a displacement of 3,100 tons, speed of 32 knots or 59 kilometers per hour. The ship is 143 meters long with a beam of 14.2 meters. It is powered by two gas turbine engines. The most notable features of the ship is the eight cruise missile launch tubes located at the superstructure in an installation that was clearly part of the ship's design rather than a subsequent add-on. The missiles are fired from an angled container rather than using a vertical launch system or VLS. The ship has a 100mm main gun, kind of similar to the Chinese Type 79 gun, the gun which could be used to engage enemy vessel or it could be used for shore bombardment. For close and target-like incoming missiles in aircraft, it has a pair of 6-barrel 30mm manually operated Gatling gun, plus 3 more 6-barrel automated 14.6 machine guns. For anti-submarine warfare, the ship has two launchers for rocket-assisted depth charges on the Fort Castle, similar to the Soviet RBU-1200. It is also believed that the ship is equipped with the 533mm anti-submarine torpedoes, but the ship doesn't have a helicopter landing deck, Instead, on the back of the ship, there is a close-in weapon system, or sea was installed. So personally, I think this limits the ship's anti-submarine capabilities without having a designated anti-submarine helicopter. For air defense, the ship seems lacking on firepower. It is only equipped with six-rail launcher at the stern for manned portable air defense or manned pad missiles. This is only good for close-in protection against cruise missiles and low-flying aircraft. This doesn't give the ship ability the large coastal and sea air defense envelope. This wouldn't also deter any aircraft from closely coming into the ship's airspace. Destroyers normally has long-range air defense missile to shoot down incoming aircraft before they could launch their anti-ship missiles. For air search radar, the North Korean Corvette seems to have similar air search radar to the Chinese Type 56 Corvettes. So this radar is probably imported from China. The mast accommodates a main radar, which looks very similar to the Chinese Type 362 2D X band air and surface search and target indication radar. It has also two navigation radars, of which the one is an S band for Runo. 
The ship also is using something very similar to the MR-104 Soviet fire control radar and to optical naval artillery fire control system looking very similar to the Russian SP-520. I couldn't verify if the ship has a hull-mounted sonar. It's also fair to assume that North Korea would probably make more of the ship in the future. The timing of unveiling of these weapons is obviously a response to the upcoming annual Old Chi Freedom Shield exercise by South Korea and the United States. North Korea opposed to this exercises as they call it practice for invasion. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.